Carnival was an excuse for balls in the 18th century, and they have been revived in this. Grudgingly, thinking to be only a spectator, I agreed to attend one. But I find that even spectators hiding behind pillars are expected to be at least in mask and cloak. With rage and loathing in my heart, I go in search of them. Bloody hell. Oh, needs must when the devil drives. Hello. Hello. Can they help you? Yes, I want to be invisible. Okay. I have to go to a ball and I don't want to, so I want to be invisible. I'd so quite like to be a priest. No, 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 no. Could be completely black. No, no, black. no. I, I, what about a priest's cassock? The, the price, you mean? No, 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 no. Like, like, like a, like a cure. Um, 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 a priest. Or... Ah, a priest. Okay. Something like that. Really, really uh. black and sober. No, 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 <laughs> no. Black. Can I try it on? Yes, of course. Thank you. No. What do you think? No, it's, it's too black. No, it's not black enough. <laughs> not black enough. <laughs> that, that's what you could get. Yes. Excuse what do I wear me? under it? Nothing. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think like that we'll have to do. Uh, excuse me, sir. I found this also, if you want to try. That's wonderful. May I take it with me? Uh, yes, of course. Yes, you've been such a help. <laughs> Bye. Once settled in an hotel on the Grand Canal or in a palace apartment let by an impoverished nobleman, the young milord set about finding himself a mistress. This best done at a ball or two, where he might make a choice from among young women of his own social level. This event, however, billed as the Casanova Ball, is a commercial affair to which anyone willing to blue 300 pounds or so can buy a welcome. Well, here I am, filled with bitter resentment on my way to the bloody ball. I suppose I shouldn't say bloody, really. It's going to be one of those affairs where people who have no business to think of themselves as aristocrats are paying to get into aristocratic mode. 400 euros to go to the ball and pretend how fraudulent can you get? And they're all togged up in tat and tawdry and look vaguely like armchair upholstery because of their vile, fat figures. And it's an absolute hideous nonsense. We will observe. When I'm thoroughly sick of it, I'll come away, feeling even more sour than I do now. It's a freak show. They don't know what they expect, they don't know how to behave, and they do not know the rules. But are there any rules in what seems to be the green room of an utterly plotless third-rate television costume drama? Balls used to be courtly affairs governed by strict protocol, by manners that were the easing lubricant of aristocratic society. And that is precisely why the young grand tourist had been to the Turin Academy at the very start of his long journey. But there has been no academy for this motley gathering of the middle, middle classes. Horace and Matthew Arnold come to mind. Ode profanum vulgus. Fly our greetings, fly our speech and smiles. And now, at last, the evening's host arrives. Casanova himself. Il gran sospirar questa notte. 
celebriamo il carnevale. Bravo! 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 I never thought to see Casanova dressed in pink, wearing glasses. I've never seen so unlovely a man. Cannot imagine him sleeping with one woman after another, night after night after night, or ending up in jail for persistent am amateur adventures. However, the audience here, or the, the people who come to the ball, seem to have an average age of about 93. I imagined my sort of fondness for lascivious imaginings that there might be a deal of groping or bosom kissing or something exciting of that nature. And I simply can't see it happening. A very dull ball it's going to be with people of that age. They're all overdressed, they'll all sweat too much if they can move at all. Quite frankly, I think it's a disaster. But all it's attracted is a lot of fat old lesbians. And that's about the sum of it. In the dining room upstairs, the masked ball matures into a nightmare. Sweating in their hired clothes, discretion abandoned, alcohol taking its toll, this surely has no resemblance to a ball in the 18th century when even the most debauched of young men with only one thing on their minds kept at least a veneer of manners. I've taken as much of this obscenity as I can bear. Exhausted, resentful, and wondering what the devil I can say, I am compelled to lunch next day with the Baroness Romana von Schilgen, whom I believe to be responsible for last night's ball. I am not alone. There must be a hundred people at this party, half still in last night's costumes. Um, because our parties are uh, just like in the 18th century. Everybody in costume, only candlelight. Not very young. Um, not young people, you say? Mm. No, our guests are from 25, 26, up to 85, 86. Yes, I think then, then most of them are nearer 80 than 20. I watched them arriving last night. Where? At your Casanova ball. I, at the? At the Casanova ball. That's not our ball. That's not your ball. Oh, I see. No. <laughs> sorry, you're talking about the wrong ball. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got to the wrong ball last night. You got to the wrong ball. <laughs> but, but I thought it was terrible. I Just don't talk about other, about other balls. No, that's, that's <laughs> fine. And now I put my foot in it again. You were from Vienna? Yes, as all real Austrian families, they were mixed. Vienna, Styria, Hungary, so... Transylvania. Transylvania. <laughs> no, Transylvania not. Does no one ever admit to being Transylvanian? I hope he's not on the phone to the local mafia.